obviously a, a, a tough way for us to lose the game at the end. You got to give Washington a ton of credit. Um, I felt like we put them under duress a little bit on the last possession. Um, Keon Brooks, he raised up, he made an unbelievable pass, a great pass to Moses Wood. You know, Moses Wood at that point was one for seven from three. Um, but you got to give Moses credit. He, he didn't hesitate. He, he, didn't, he, didn't, uh, he didn't try to pump fake it. He just rose up and shot it. Our guy Grant Newell was there with the contest, and Moses made an unbelievable shot. Um, you know, he, he's a veteran. He's a guy who comes from a basketball family in terms of his father, David Wood. And you just got to give Washington credit. We battled, we fought, and uh, they came in and they, they executed unbelievably on that last possession. Um, before I dive into more particulars, I just want to say thank you to all the fans that came out tonight. It was an unbelievable environment here at Cal. In particular, the students. That's the most students we've had all season. So I want to thank all the fans for their support, for their continued um, just passion for this team. And, and we'll continue to work. We'll break down the film. We'll look at the areas we need to get better. And we will grow. And, and we will win these games as we continue to move forward. Oh, Questions? On, yes. your, on your guys' final inbounds play, was there a thought of taking a timeout to possibly get one of your better free throw shooters the ball? Um, da Doss has knocked down free throws throughout his whole career. And so we, we had talked about it. Um, you know, I didn't want to let them get set up, and we had it in our back pocket if we needed to take it. And so, you know, the, the game wasn't, in my opinion, it wasn't one lost on that, on that possession. Um, I think what I told the players was, you know, collectively, we, we cannot shoot 13 for 22 from the free throw line. And, and we, we have to work at it. We have to get better at it. Um, again, I, t I told them as well, you know, we, we didn't lose on the late free throws, any late free throw misses. But when you add it all up cumulatively over the course of the game, we have to shoot better from the free throw line. We did a great job of taking care of the ball, seven turnovers. They killed us on the glass. They had 10 more shots than us because they, they, they really went to the offensive glass and, and they killed us on the offensive glass. Coach, it seems uh, there's a lot more uh, design play sets. Uh, Emac Iso was early on, Jalen Cohn driving versus more reading react. Was it more deliberate, um, say, offensive philosophy? In, in the first half? In yeah. the first half or in yeah. the second half? Or which? First half, a lot of Emac Iso's early yeah. on, especially. Yeah, I mean, I felt like we, uh, you know, that. At times, they, they switched a smaller guy onto Doss, and Doss is great at carving out position, but if we, don't, if we don't make the hit in the first count or two, we need to move off it. You know, you just run the risk of a three second in the lane, you can belabor the point. Um, but, but again, the second half was so much better. Um, you know, yeah, we had a couple turnovers there, but in the second half, we were really good executing versus a switch, um, pounding the ball inside. A lot more 2-3 zone felt like tonight, too, versus the usual almost straight up man-to-man. -man. Yeah, no, we, we, we tried to throw different defensive looks out there, full, a full court press, a couple of different ones, a couple of different half court um, defenses. And, you know, Washington has a lot of offensive weapons and we wanted to just try to keep them off balance as best we could. Um, and, uh, you know, again, we had momentum in the second half and, and, and they give Washington credit. They played great down the stretch and, and we had some opportunities that we didn't capitalize on. Did you, were you able to relay any instruction? When they got the ball, it was 4.4 for that last thing. Were you able to relay any defensive instruction? 100%. What, what did you say? Well, we, we have hand signals. And so, um, you know, we, we know situations like that. We know exactly what we're doing. And, you know, we did it really well for part of the possession. I need to watch it on film. But, uh, but we held true to our defense principles. And, and, you know, Grant was there with a the contest. And a guy made a really tough shot. I was just wondering whether there was particular instruction on how that Bell or, or Brooks get the shot. Well, Brooks, Brooks rose up but, but made the pass, right. you, you know. And, and uh, again, I haven't watched the clip yet because, you know, Moses Wood got a little bit free. So I'll need to see if we, you know, how the execution was. But, but I wouldn't say, you, you know, you, you play a game and there's a last second shot and one team wins, one team loses. As a coach, I, I never pin a loss on, on the last second, um, on the last second play. I mean, there's absolutely things we could have done better, but a game is one loss throughout the totality of a game, in my opinion. You know, obviously, it's, it's very dramatic. What, you know, it's, it's crushing for us. It's the other team's elated, but we'll dissect that play. But there were other things we, we did along the way, and I told the guys that, you know, we, we, didn't, we didn't win or lose the game with the free throws in the last minute, the front ends. We didn't win or lose the game on that last play. There's things throughout the course of the game we can do better. 
uh, coach, the ball was moving a lot more in the second half, yeah. especially at finding Fargo's inside. Yeah. Um, what do you like about what you saw from that difference? Well, I'll say this. Fardaz in the second half was phenomenal. He was phenomenal. He was rolling to the basket. He, was, he, had, he had some and ones. He was knocking down free throws. Um, you know, I just felt like he was reading and reacting uh, very well in the second half. I think he had five assists and zero turnovers. Um, you know, that's impressive. He had a steal. He had some key blocks late. And so Doss' second half was really, really good. You know, I'm upset as a head coach that I wasn't able to help my team find a, find a, way, to, um, find a way to win the game. And again, we'll, we'll, we'll dive into the film, we'll look at everything, and, and we will improve. Coach, thanks. Yeah, thanks, guys.